Tesla just sold 500,000 Model Ys. I've got to say, this is a pretty impressive accomplishment. And honestly, I'm really excited to see what's going to happen this year. What's going to happen with Tesla's four factories in particular? What's going to happen at Shanghai, where they're not only expanding the factory to increase production to 1 million, now they're heading towards 2 million. That, my friends, is insane. Hello and welcome to the Electric Viking. As you can see, the injured Viking at the moment. Check out my video on how I nearly killed myself and ended up in hospital. I'll put a link in the description below. If you haven't seen it, yeah, see me do something stupid. Well, unfortunately, I wasn't filming at the time when I actually did it, but you see me in hospital anyway. What's going on with Tesla? Well, they are about to do something which I think is a game changer. That is get access to production of, well, nearly 300 gigawatt hours of lithium iron phosphate batteries. See, they've actually signed a deal with Goshan High Tech for 200 gigawatt hours of LFP batteries per year at an energy density of over 200 kilowatt per kilo. That is insane. In addition to that, CATL is building a factory three kilometers down the road from Tesla's Gigafactory in Shanghai for 70 gigawatt hours of LFP batteries. That is a big advantage. And what it's going to enable Tesla to do is produce more Model 3 and Model Y than anyone previously thought would happen from one factory. However, let's just have a look at the Tesla Model Y. Over the past two years, Tesla has sold more than 500,000. So why has the Tesla Model Y experienced such an incredible sales performance in two years since its release? And why are so many future owners so happy to wait patiently for so long in order to get the car? Well, Clean Technica says that Tesla Model Y sales are soaring. The pace of the Model Y's growth is remarkable and a testimonial to consumer endorsement for the all-electric crossover which it is somewhat surprising. It's not the best looking car. It looks okay, but let's be honest, there are definitely better looking EVs out there. The Ionic 5, the EV6, yeah, I think that they are, safe to say, better looking. However, there's one controversial issue with the Tesla Model Y, which I think is going to cause some very, very interesting media scenes over the next few months. I'm gonna to get to what that is in just a second. Now, the Tesla Model Y's full complement of features, especially the sophisticated, owner-focused over-the-air software updates, are real winners. And there's something that Tesla has truly delivered on, unlike the competition. Much of the competition, in particular the Jaguar electric car, which was the world car of the year, even that Volkswagen ID3 and ID4, much of the competition promised that they'd do soft software over-the-air updates, but they haven't really delivered on those promises. Tesla has definitely delivered on OTA updates. There are so many interesting reasons why Tesla has sold so many Model Ys. Clean Technica says it's being sold essentially without any advertising campaign whatsoever, other than the YouTubers who basically do Tesla's advertising for them for free. The Model Y is 64 inches high, seven inches higher than the Model 3. It has the SUV Allure of the Model X without the accompanying hefty price tag and gullwing doors. Having access to the network of Tesla superchargers that enable fast charging is a big plus over other EV models. That might change though when Tesla starts to open up the network to other brands. The excellent infotainment system also contains most driver settings. Reservations continue at a time when Tesla is no longer eligible for federal EV tax credits while other electric models do provide access to these incentives, which is quite remarkable. All of this reinforces the degree to which the Model Y's success is based strictly on its value and its perceived caliber. It did just win the car.com world car of the year. Model Y sales in Q1 of 2020 were 2,300. Since then, Tesla ramped up to 152,000 in Q4 of 2021. What I'm most fascinated about is to see where they're gonna be in Q4 of 2022. I think maybe 400,000. That's my guess, but let me know what you think in the comment section below. 
Legacy automakers who have come late to the EV game must now also contend with Tesla Model Y sales at a time when most of their own EV models are only in pilot stages of production. Or like moment Ford, for example, they've just paused Mustang Mach-E production. What about General Motors? I mean, they shut down their factory completely, building the Bolt and the Bolt EUV. So, you know, the competition, even Ionic 5, Kia EV6, they've sold out for years now because they're not making that many of them. Really, the competition, according to the media, was going to be here years ago, but it hasn't really arrived. The Tesla Model Y is the smaller of Tesla's SUVs. Of course, the Model X is bigger. It's got a lot to offer, though. Two independent electric motors that digitally control torque to the front and rear wheels. This offer Tesla excellent handling, traction, and stability control. There's numerous videos all over YouTube showing you just how well electric cars handle. In particular, the Model Y, it does very, very well, even on tires not made for winter driving. Now, the long range model, that's the most popular model, has an estimated driving range of 330 miles when equipped with standard 19 inch wheels. And it does zero to 60 miles an hour in 4.4 seconds. That is actually, makes it a performance car. It's just a long range standard model. It's not even the performance model, but unquestionably that's fast enough to be called a performance SUV. One other big advantage is the 15 inch infotainment screen, which is updated constantly with new features, new games, new accessories, new, well, basically I think from what most reviewers have read and most, not just I'm talking electric car websites, but I'm talking review websites period. They've said the infotainment system is the best in the industry. So that's one big advantage that Tesla has. In addition, Tesla's advanced autopilot semi-autonomous driving system is a standard feature on the Model Y. Its key safety features include standard auto automated emergency braking with pedestrian detection, lane departure warning with lane keeping assist, and adaptive cruise control with semi-autonomous driving mode. I have met numerous people who have said to me in person and online, the reason they bought the car was because of the not full self-driving, just simply because of autopilot. They say that they use it to drive from one city to another, just on the highway portion, not the actual city driving part, the highway portion, which makes up 95% of the drive. They say that without that, they wouldn't have bought it. Or in other words, it's the key reason they bought the car and they use it all the time. And they say it's great, which is, you know, I mean, quite contrary to some of the negative reports you hear about it, because I think overall the experience for 99% of people is that it's very, very good. Now, Elon actually predicted during the Q1 2021 earnings call that the Model Y would quite likely be the world's best-selling car in the future. Since then, the Model Y has experienced tremendous consumer demand, recreating Musk's vision into a possible reality. Is this possible? In my view, no, it's not. Unless, unless one thing happens, unless Tesla bring down the price significantly. Do I think that will happen? Yes, I think the price will come down by about 20%, probably in about 18 months when Tesla are using giga castings for all Model Ys that will be able to, that will enable Tesla to reduce the price when Tesla are using LFP batteries, when they're able to get the cost of different range of parts down, I think eventually Tesla will sell them cheaper. If they don't eventually sell it for 20% less than they are now, I'm talking the base model, then no. I mean, there's not enough people in the world that can afford a vehicle that costs 50,000 US dollars. 45,000, maybe, it's possible. Let me know what you think though. Do you think the Model Y could become the world's best selling vehicle period? That's a tough ask. I mean, most people are not able to afford a car for 50,000 US dollars, but hey, I could be wrong. I'm just one person. Let me know what you think in the comments below. So let's have a look at the run up to the Tesla Model Y release. What actually happened? It wasn't that long ago that conversations about the Tesla Model Y were little more than speculation. And now the fun thing is to see that while it's selling so well, after so many people said it was vaporware and would never actually exist. Yes, hundreds and hundreds of people, I mean, maybe thousands claim that. In particular, the Tesla shorts. And yeah, we know what happened to those guys. They lost a lot of money. 2015, sneak preview. With little background knowledge in 2015, other than that Tesla had trademarked the name Tesla Model Y, so that his product lineup would eventually read sexy, S-E-X-Y, we were hungry for details. Did a screenshot of an Australian 60 minute segment on Tesla actually show a Model Y? Maybe it did. 2017, relying on Tesla's history of successful business moves. Clean Technica says, still with the little concrete info on which to rely, a media narrative, about the potential of Tesla Model Y sales focused on 
how so many naysayers had dismissed Tesla's previous production moves and been proven wrong. Thus, and by inference, the Tesla Model Y would be a roaring hit upon its release. And it's true. The media were all over Tesla. They were saying it wouldn't be possible for the ramp up deliveries. They, they, they just couldn't do it. It was too difficult. But what happened? 2018, rumors started to circulate about impending production. Anonymous, but really, really informed sources were whispering that Tesla Model Y production was tentatively scheduled to begin in November of 2019, with manufacturing in China starting up two years after that. Speculation included rumors that the company would eventually build a million Model Y vehicles a year. Could Musk pull it off? Well, he hasn't yet, but I'm pretty much guaranteeing we're going to hit that million mark either this year or next year in terms of Model Y sales, that is. Now, one thing for me is I think it was a mistake to build the Model 3 first. I think they should have built the Model Y first. It's definitely by far the more, the more popular body style. But anyway, it doesn't matter. 2019 production was targeted for Gigafactory 1 and Tesla confirmed that the Model Y would be the first vehicle it would build at its Gigafactory. In addition, Musk did what I think was a very smart thing. He revealed that the Model Y would begin life on the Model 3 platform with the two sharing 76% of the same parts. That was a smart move. That allowed Tesla to leverage even greater economies of scale in their supply chain and demand even lower prices from their suppliers in addition to improving their downstream efficiencies with the supply of parts to its service centers and body shops. Now, really, Ford CEO Jim Farley just said the other day, one of the things he admires the most about Tesla is what? Profitability. The reality is, Legacy Auto right now, they're not making a profit from EVs. I don't care what they tell you, they're not. That is the reality. That's why Jim Farley said that. Tesla right now are in a position, extremely enviable position, where they're actually able to make a very big profit, but more importantly, a very big profit on EVs. If Legacy Auto can do that, well, it remains to be seen. 2020, the first Model Ys were delivered. Several semi-trailers were seen leaving the Tesla Fremont car factory loaded with Tesla Model Y cars. And what did that mean? Now, well, that actually meant that production was quicker than Tesla said it would be, which was quite a change for Tesla at the time. So here we are in the first quarter of 2022. Electric vehicle sales are going to hit an all-time record this year. In my view, they will double versus last year. And Tesla is a big part of that. Why? Because production matters. doesn't matter how good the car is. If you can't produce it, it's irrelevant. What is Tesla going to do this year? Produce more EVs than any other car company, period. And that, my friends, is why I'm invested in the stock. You know what? I think it's a bargain right now. And if you've got some spare cash, go for Tesla. Personally, I use the Stake app. And if you want to use that too, I rec highly recommend it. I'll put a link in the description below to my co promotion code. If you use that code, you'll get a free stock when you create an account. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again on the next video.